Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Plan for 1970s style bomb attacks on Trump admins just came out and it's already too late. Liberal lunacy has reached fever pitch in America. First, we have rogue groups like Antifa and Black Lives Matter popping up for whatever reason. Then we have celebrities and even politicians calling for violence against those they don't agree with, and now we even have a writer putting in his two cents worth in order to fan the flames of division. An extreme left-wing writer in what can be considered a threat actually warned Trump administration officials earlier this week that the backlash against them will get much worse than just being kicked out of restaurants like what happened to White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders Friday evening when she was asked to leave a restaurant by the owner because of who she works for and her politics. Splinter's Hamilton Nolan wrote the essay on an extreme left-wing news site after Sanders complained over the weekend about being asked to leave a Virginia restaurant by an owner who was critical of her work for the Trump administration and her politics. Nolan even went as far as to warn that these types of incidents are only the beginning apostrophe. This is all going to get more extreme. And it should. We are living in extreme times, he writes. Here is more on this via the Daily Mail. A left-wing writer warned Trump administration officials this week that the backlash against them will get much worse than being kicked out of restaurants. Splinter's Hamilton Nolan wrote the essay on the progressive news site after White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders complained over the weekend about being asked to leave a Virginia restaurant by an owner who was critical of her work for the Trump administration. Nolan said these types of incidents are only the beginning. This is all going to get more extreme. And it should. We are living in extreme times he writes. Nolan says he does not believe that Trump administration officials should be able to live their lives in peace and affluence while they inflict serious harms on large portions of the American population. Not being able to go to restaurants and attend parties and be celebrated is just the minimum baseline here. These people, who are pushing America merrily down the road to fascism and white nationalism, are delusional if they do not think that the backlash is going to get much worse. Wait until the recession comes. Wait until Trump starts a war. Wait until the racism this administration is stoking begins to explode into violence more frequently. Read a F. King history book. Read a recent history book. The U.S. had thousands of domestic bombings per year in the early 1970s. This is what happens when citizens decide en masse that their political system is corrupt, racist, and unresponsive. The people out of power have only just begun to flex their dissatisfaction. The day will come, sooner than you all think. When Trump administration officials will look back fondly on the time when all they had to worry about was getting hollered at a Mexican restaurant. When you aggressively FCK with people's lives, you should not be surprised when they decide to FCK with yours, Nolan writes. Nolan appears to be referencing the politically motivated bombings that took place during Richard Nixon and Gerald Ford's administrations, largely in response to the Vietnam War. The most well known of these extremist groups was the Weather Underground a radical left-wing group founded at the University of Michigan, Ann Arbor. The group conducted multiple bombings through the mid-1970s to protest the American military presence in Southeast Asia. One of the leaders, Bill Ayers, caused controversy for his close relationship to Barack Obama in the lead-up to the latter's election as president in 2008. The reaction to Nolan's piece online was mostly negative. Many argued that while Nolan claimed to be preaching against fascism, his warning was a threat of fascism itself. You call out people that enable fascism, but spend the whole article calling for more fascism," Neil Crawford wrote. Another Twitter user, Drew Robbins, echoed that message, look at it Hamilton Nolan, encouraging violence while calling others fascists. I hope this Moran gets a visit from the at Secret Service. Others stooped to commenting on Nolan's appearance, saying he didn't inspire fear in them. Hamilton Nolan doesn't strike me as somebody who'd ever really have me shaking in my boots in person, one user wrote. Nolan continued by writing that he does not believe that Trump administration officials should be able to live their lives in peace and affluence while they inflict serious harms on large portions of the American population, and that the backlash is going to get much worse. He concluded by writing, wait until the recession comes. Wait until Trump starts a war. Wait until the racism this administration is stoking begins to explode into violence more frequently. I have said it before and I will say it again. These leftists have no idea whatsoever the sleeping giant they are trying to awaken. Let's hope for their own sake they stop this rhetoric ASAP. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.